Buongiorno. Welcome to everyone and uh, thank you for taking the time uh, to witness the presentation of the bachelor course in economics and management for um, arts, culture and communication, specifically in this uh, delicate moment of ours all over the world. My name is Simone Autera and I am the deputy director of the course and I'm here on behalf of uh, the director of the course, uh, Professoressa Stefania Borghini. So, as to start, I would like to share with you a consideration about the very title of the course. So we were talking about economics and management for arts, culture and communication. So I just want to underline that the choice for the preposition for is not by chance. So it is a very critical choice that getting all over over 20 years of the story of the course in the way in which the program is being structured and designed. Specifically, what I want to say is that by choosing the preposition for, we want to underline the very fact that the disciplines of management and economics are there to serve to bring service to specific fields, which are fields of arts, culture, and communication that are necessarily setting apart from automotive to machining or any other type of field because of some intrinsic characteristic that we are going to handle in a very few minutes. So the very idea behind the course, not just simply to study management, objectifying the arts and culture as simply the object of the things you are going to handle, the, the things you are going to make decisions upon, but the program is structured according to a very profound idea of bridging to complete different and for some aspect opposite way of learning and thinking and inquiring the word. The one which comes for the social science of management and the one which, which comes from the arts and cultural study of arts, culture and communication field. So I just want to provide, let's say, a provocative and as well a clear cut um, precision uh, to uh, our presentation. So what is the course about and what the course is definitely not about? So what you see right now is uh, um, a still frame from the live action from Disney of Mulan. So what you see there is the lead actress. What you see there are some choices in terms of lighting made by the director of the photography, are some choices about the props that are being used on the set in order to make everything being pictured the way in which the director envisaged it. Well, what the course is going to teach you about is not this type of things. Rather, what the course is going to prepare you for is to make decisions on the managerial level. I, for example, to opt for a direct to video on streaming on demand on the platform Disney Plus as a way to distribution of this specific title instead of going for the theatrical release, i.e. making people going first to the movie theaters in order to watch Mulan in first place. So this type of choice implies choice of pricing, implies choice of distribution, implies managing the relationship with stakeholders, i.e. those type of people which have an interest in your product, which in this case would be the theatrical chains. So these are the things you are going to be and work about. Another example, this is the lineup of the last um, Venice Film Festival. So at the Biennale of Cinema di Venezia, you see directors, you see actresses, you see actors, you see people that are incredibly famous about it, we recognize all over the tabloids. Well, we are not going to train you in any way to be the artists of the story. We are going to train you to be the managers of the story. What does this imply? It implies that, for example, in a context like the one of Festival of uh, uh, Venice, you are going to be those people that are organizing panels, that are declaring and making a reasoning upon what 
is at stake at the present days within the movie industries, which are the people that are relevant to be invited in order to have a say on the evolution, the new trends of this fascinating um, context that movie represents. So this was just a, a very quick introduction in order to introduce the very topics of the course. So we were saying economics and management for culture and communication and arts. So what is management about? Management in our case implies asking ourselves questions, questions which are very precise and which lead us into a certain direction of inquiry. Specifically, just with some examples of uh, some headlines taken from uh, uh, many different types of publications around the world, in this case, obviously written in English. So as you can see there, for example, talking about management implies making us reflect upon a bunch, a set, a subset of questions, which refers, for example, to the strategy of growth of the enterprises. What does it mean that Disney all of a sudden, let's say all of a sudden, actually, it is a long ever accelerating process of consolidation within the media industry, decides for going shopping for a huge company like 21st Century Fox. Something that, for example, Disney decided to do when it was about the acquisition of Pixar or Marvel or Lucas films. So why a company should be willing to spend over $70 billion, which are the rationals behind such decisions as well, which are the risks behind such decision? What if things do not go the way in which Disney planned? And for example, what does it imply to make two companies huge as they are, Disney and Century Fox, to merge, to integrate together? How does this reflect in the way we make people make decisions? We make people cooperate and work together. Other type of question we might make dealing with management implies how much we make people pay for our product. That is, for example, the case in which a theatrical chain like UCI in Germany opt for smart dynamic pricing. What does that mean? What does it mean to relate your price to certain variables that change, for example, weather condition? Or moreover, what does it imply, for example, for a play like Amazon to make decisions to open up consumer data, i.e. information about the audience, i.e. information about the people who buy books in this case, because we are talking about the relationship between Amazon and UK publishers. So what is a stake and which are the business conditions upon which we make such decisions. So management is about these things, but as well, management is about some other type of decisions in the case in which we are not simply talking of enterprises which are for profit, but we talk about institutions which may be not for profit, as in the case, for example, of the New York Public Library. So how do you find the balance between communicating to the vast majority of your audience uh, to try to reach the higher number of people through your communication and on the other side to balance this with the necessity of keeping relevant your cultural mission of raising the awareness about the culture of a place in that case the history and the social geography of new york city or some other considerations that could be done on the management side it could be the one, for example, of the uh, Fuori Salone in Milan. Some of you may be familiar with this word. It is this design fair, which is the fringe festival of the design fair that usually takes place around Hepburn here in Milan. It is a massive event in which everybody from all over the world is brought upon this very city where I'm speaking to you right now. Well. What does it imply to make this event happen? It implies to deal with managerial issues as well. For example, to reason upon how to organize the flows, the massive flows of people, too many people to handle, too many people to organize, 
around the city in different type of venues to ask for permissions of these venues which implies to let's say handle and manage organize the relationship with multiple stakeholders once again multiple people you have to talk to to ask these permissions for to come to an agreement with this can be private entities this can be the municipality this can be some private public partnership led organizations so as you see talking about management implies that you have a certain basket of questions which relate to strategy which relate to people organizing and management which relate to uh pricing choice which relate to to uh, looking for ways in order to attract the right target like the right people you want to communicate or to sell a specific product or service to at the same time though we were saying we apply this type of gaze this type of perspective to a specific field which is the field of culture broadly intended well culture is the type of word which is so much complex so much um complicated and so difficult to and can that you inevitably pass all over the three years of your bachelor study in case you will hope for this bachelor to actually understand what culture is about well i try to give you a definition of culture which is a very not exhaustive but in a way we may say whenever we deal with culture we talk about making meanings and fostering meanings it is talking about the way in which while we tell reality we are actually building reality or at least a representations of it so what does it mean for example the renouncement period in which we have the man at the center and how the representation of the centrality of man implies that there are some consequences in the way we are going to understand the world which is around us, mankind. Or what doesn't imply in the present contemporary moment and era in which we are going to make use and take some specific meanings which are central, crucial, and very specific to a local culture by making them work being transformed in a more globalized broader context so which are the transformations we are making which are the change the slippages of meanings that we are creating and how this impact the way in which we can understand or for example the way in which the specific culture of origin of those meanings have um or receive an impact from them or then an ability to further express themselves the same way so why to choose this program you need to choose this program if you are particularly fond of culture if you are generally interested in working on the intricacies and the complexities on the fragile peculiarities of the aforementioned field of inquiry which is the one of arts culture and communication the one in which you are going primarily among many other things chatteris paribus you will understand what this implies some of you we may study latin already understood this expression which is uh, dealing chatteris paribus primarily first and foremost with making and fostering meanings so in order to manage culture in order to make management serve the specific fields of operation you need to work on a dual path the one of economics and business and the one of humanities you need to have a strong drive for this specific fields of operation some of you who are listening and watching to me right now are probably musicians or wannabe musicians some of you are probably people who have um, their Instagram accounts in which they publish their illustrations, for example, in which they write their short form poems. Or, for example, some of you may be um, in the um, position of trying to uh, make an act. On the one side, it could be a theatrical, on the other side, it could be performative on the dance side of the story. Well, any of you 
might have, surely as if you're listening to me with a genuine interest right now, a specific cultural interest. Well, working on this course implies that you want to conjugate the specific keen interest that I encourage you to foster on and on across your uh, study path and your entire life to conjugate that on the concrete and application side of management. We want to be as well on the side of those who make those type of decisions that I have just mentioned before. Why to do that in Bocconi? Well, Professor Principe surely underlined the different peculiarities of Bocconi, of which I am surely proud of, which I'm not going to disclose right now once again, because you have been uh, listening to that. You probably already are aware of if you are listening to me. But what I want to underline is that Bocconi takes place in a specific context, the one of Milan which is uh, the European, we can surely state that, capital city of Italy. So Milan has the capability of being the place in which the things of the specific fields of communication, arts and culture happen. It's where the vast majority of the um, publishing houses are, are, is where the advertising agencies are, is where the vast majority of the communication brands are. So it is where, for example, the Salone del Mobile happens, is where there is a movie festival, it is a place in which you can find the possibility to go outside the university and relate with the people which are actually making the job that you are willing to do in the future. So one thing that I really, uh, let's say, suggest to my students whenever they come to me and say, Professor, what should I do next? Or what should I do now in order you know, to pave my career in a certain direction is, please be aware that whatever university provides you with is just a toolbox. You need to be able to take the toolbox, the different tools which are in the box and make use of them going outside and looking for opportunities of networking. The university is going to help you with that. I'm going to tell you how, for example, but you need to be proactive. You need to be aware that wherever you're going to work in the future, it's going to be outside of university. The university is going to provide you with a gaze, with a capacity, with the ability to inquire things and build your intelligent skills of study and questioning reality, but reality is outside. So to be in a place in which reality happens, the reality in your own fields of operation, it is fundamental. Milan is that place. Why to choose the program again? If you are fond of working in the type of organizations, whether for profit or not profit, whether companies or institutions, whether startups or incumbents in the field, of these specific fields of operations. But not only, let's make it clear, so when you see cultural institutions, when you see cultural industries, when you see creative industries, let's make an example. So what you see here is just a form. Well, think about the music industry. Think about the movie industry. How you are going to access music, how you're going to read a piece of a newspaper, well, it's just not about the publishing or the music or the television industry or the movie industry. It's about a way to build an ecosystem for accessing that type of content. Well, whenever we talk about cultural industries, we talk about some other converging industries in this type of field, which are the one that provides you with the connectivity, telecommunications, for example, or which are the one that provides you with the hardware and the software, for example, Apple, for example, Google. So these type of industries, this type of players that I have just mentioned are players which are within the radar of this specific type of course. Or think, for example, about art, things about online exhibitions, things about the possibility of making augmented reality or virtual reality to work in the field of movies or in the field of arts exhibitions once again. Well, in that very case, we are talking about technology. Technology-led startups, for example. So one very important 
pillar of this course is going to be to train you with the type of skills that an entrepreneur necessitates when it comes to uh, provide ideas and come up with business managerial ideas, effective ideas in the field of operation of culture, arts and communication, but not only, as well at the intersection of these fields with some others that you might not have thought about before. So what you are going to study, we said it already, management in economics, but at the same time, we need to be aware that whenever we are going to make decisions, we need to know which are the borders within we are going to move. So low studies provide these borders, provides us with an idea of how the type of decisions we are going to make and the relationship we are going to build up with some place rather than others are regulated by law at different type of levels, local level, country level, international and European level. At the same time, make sure that you are already aware of the fact that whenever we talk about management, whenever we talk about making decisions, we need to build up arguments in support of our decisions. Well, these arguments come from qualitative inputs, comes from gut feelings, but comes specifically at the very beginning of your career from data. You need to be able to compute numbers and you need to be able to read through numbers. So quantitative subjects are a very important part of the story. Without that, for example, you cannot really say anything about pricing strategy or you cannot really say anything about how much is big the target audience that I aim to talk to, to sell my service to, to offer for free my service to as well. We were talking about humanities. We are going to be there in a second. And when you read over the slide workshops, well, it's not that much about the what, but it is about the how we are going to make things uh, learn um, in our relationship, teachers and uh, uh, students. We are going to see it in a second. So, humanities. Once again, remind the very beginning of our conversation. You're not going to be talked about being an actor. You're not going to be talked about to be an art historian either. What you are going to be talked about is next to the managerial perspective to take on another type of approach, another type of critical approach to the world, which is the one which is provided by a cultural study, visual studies and arts studies. By looking at arts, by inquiring the work of artists, we are going and reading, obviously, across the work of cultural scholars, art historians, historians, philosophers. We are going to breach the abilities, capabilities, and skills which the manager perspective is teaching to you with another way of looking at things. Let me just make you, um, let's say, a sentence in order to make you understand what I'm meaning. So when, whenever we talk about management, we usually talk about making a certain basket of resources. It could be people, it could be finances, it could be money, then it could be time, it could be energies, it can be tools in order to come to a certain desired output. We are in an output focused approach. Whenever we talk about arts, we are dealing with something which is more about the process of getting into an outcome that we not necessarily are aware of and which might bear the risk of fallacy, of failure, of not getting where we actually are not still aware where we want to go to. So these mix of risk of failure, we say is a, in a way uh, intrinsic to the human beings and the risk of not making ourselves comprehended in our profound internal feelings or a certain society be working in a way in which everybody is able to talk 
and comprehend each other, it is something which is built upon a perspective which is completely different from the one that economics and management offers you in your study path. So when you are going to empirically breach these two perspectives, these two different gazes that you uh, inquire the word with, within workshop. So workshop in the third year is going to be the fields of applicability of management skills as well as with the takeaways of your um, uh, arts and culture and communication studies. As you can see, this is the list of where workshops which are available. As you can see, some of them are vertically based on some field of some industry. For example, uh, the global industry of imaginary is, is about imaginary. Sorry, is about uh, media industries. Or um, whenever we talk about uh, um, fashion, we talk about a certain field of operations. But some of them, as in the case of communication and cultural consumption decisions or digital disruption and entrepreneurship, rather than being vertical on a specific field, are thematic, bridging horizontally many different fields of operation. So this works as of those places in which you are required to have an approach which is hands on in relation as well working with and many times working as consultants for real enterprises or institutions which are going to provide you with a brief and which are going to make you apply some of the theoretical knowledge that you have been provided across the journey of your study path. I'm not going to um, uh, watch in detail with you your study path because it is something which is uh, uh, available in your digital brochures as well on the interventions of all the other courses and Professor's Princeship is one as well. What I want to underline and that is done by the color blue is that all across your study plan there are subjects which are specific of management studies uh, just opposed with subjects which are specific of the arts, culture and communication fields of inquiry. So why am I going to repeat that again? Because I want to make sure that you need to be aware that this is going to be difficult. This is going to be complex. This is going to be uh, some time puzzling to handle, to face, because you are going to enter the class of management or you're going to face the lessons of private law in which you are going to be asked to have a mindset for your study and for understanding what the instructor is going to tell you, which is completely different, which sets apart in completely oppositions to what the course in philosophy of art is going to take you to. So the idea is that you need to be aware and to train yourself, to keep training yourself, because partially this is something that the high school trained you to, to, let's say, work on parallel path across your journey, which is something that sometimes, once again, is going to puzzle you and is going to imply another work than, for example, in the case in which you just focus entirely on just one discipline. Here too, the same story. So critical approaches to the arts, cultural anthropologies versus, we might say, but in the logic of our course is always a and microeconomics, statistic, accounting. Lastly, how are we going to do things? As it works for any course here in Bocconi, we really want not just to make this type of exercise, you listen, I talk, I talk, you listen, but something different as well. You talk, you take responsibility of your participation, you make things happen within class and outside sometimes I was saying in the workshops. So thanks to business cases, thanks to guest speakers, thanks to the relationship we as instructors facilitate and moderate with the outside world, we are going to make you do things through a learning by doing approach. After graduation, well, let me first say that uh, the vast majority of uh, our students, over the 90%, 
continue with a master of science but those who do not continue or those do that continue with the master of science after the um graduation within the master and after having taken uh the uh, bachelor in economics and management for arts culture and communication uh work in different company faction this can be planning or control this can be sales it could be marketing but this can be as well accounting or logistics it really depends on the type of uh, uh, subject they discover themselves to be fond of across the path they have this type of function in a plethora of different possible um, institutions. It could be private, public, non-profit or for-profit. I was mentioning before the difference between cultural companies like, uh, I don't know, a movie producer, production company or a publishing house whose aim is to, um, let's say, achieve a cultural mission as well as a profit for their shareholders and, for example, a library or uh, an arts institution or a museum, which uh, uh, it could be, and usually he is, not for profit. What does make this course unique? Because this course is actually unique. This course is unique because of you, mainly. Because as I was mentioning before, each single of you usually comes to class and gets to interact with their international classmates with a passion that they bring you there, which is music playing, instruments playing, which is acting, which is writing, which is having an incredible active entrepreneurial ferment within themselves. So you usually make this choice because of the necessity of looking for a concrete application to some of your keen passions. This makes you particularly interesting to talk to and to work with when it comes to instructor, but by the way, at their own passion in the same type of fields. Lastly, we are here, we've been here for over 20 years right now. This implies that we have been on the way, credited massively for our quality within the job market. And it is not just because of that, but we are having a huge network of alumni of this course, which implies that they are knowing what this course is about and they make this type of decisions when it comes to hire, either for a permanent job or for an internship, these type of students of ours. So as you can see here, this is just an example of the type of uh, uh, companies or institutions you may find work to, which is, which are, which is a subset of the companies and institutions in which our students actually ended up working to. So as you can see, a very different span and diversified span of corporations. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. I hope that you have questions and I hope that you have uh, doubts as well because it's a very important thing to uh, clarify them for me, by me, uh, through uh, the chat. Thanks once again for uh, your time and I hope to see you in class, actually. Thank you.